Good morning, it's Monica. I am the Natural Hair Eclectic, and this is the weekend garden update. Before we head outside, we're going to check out what Big Fira and Little Noble are doing. Doing well. Big Fira's had some cosmetic changes. That long leaf that was hanging off of one side got bumped, and the tip of it fell off, but it's okay because it actually is a little bit more balanced now. And she's got some pups that are coming in that are really growing over there. So uh, if anybody wants some aloe vera plants, apparently they do this all the time. And I did not think about that, having a whole bunch of little aloe vera plants around the house. But like, really, is that a bad thing considering all the good things that aloe vera does? But let's move on throughout the house. And this is my indoor plant that I've had forever, over a decade. So I was a gardener before I knew it. It's doing well, but still needs a better support system and a bigger pot. Let's ignore the mess over here. These are some sprouts that I'm working on. I was telling you guys that you can take your onions that you bought from the store, cut off the bottoms, and suspend them over a cup of water with just the root system on the bottom touching and it'll start growing white sprouts. I just put this in last night. It's already starting to grow like one or two white sprouts. So I'll give it a little couple of days to sprout really well to see what we get on top and then I'll find a place in the new garden to set it up. This is just a little experiment. I just got like too many seeds I bought late in the season. So I figured I'd start them indoors and see if I get anything to sprout as seedlings. So it's just some potting mix in a repurposed um, tub there. This is Burpee's Mixed Pollinator um, Mix. It's got a whole bunch of different stuff, wildflowers in it that's supposed to attract bees and stuff. So hopefully that'll sprout and help me with my marigold problem, which I will show you now. So it's not necessarily a marigold problem. Problems. What had happened was, as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four plots that I planted seeds, two seeds in each plot. And I was starting to grow seedlings in at least two of them. And now I just have this one left. But this one is growing well. It's, you see, it still has the red stem. And it's still, um, it started growing true leaves. So it's going to, you know do its thing growing flower soon but the question is what happened to the other ones i could have potentially mowed them trying to cut the grass but one day i saw that someone had put um these outdoor lights into each one of these little holes except for this one for some reason so it could have just got stifled i don't know but that's why i started growing the mix uh inside because i'm going to see if i can grow seedlings out of that and then fill in the empty spots so when this one starts to grow, it's not by itself and it looks great. But let's go in the backyard and see what's going on in the vegetable garden. Did some de-weeding in the garden yesterday, so things are looking a lot better. Cut in a little bit of the grass as well. These are my iris plants that are transplants. They're doing pretty well, except for this one over here. Got hit by the storm and kind of toppled over a little bit. But this one's doing really well. She looks really well. She's got some new leaves in her fan, honey. Doing her thing. Lady Lavender back there is sprouting. What I found out is that deadheading um, lavender helps a lot. If you cut off those old blooms, people think, oh, but I, that's what I want to see. I like the blooms. But it actually grows back new ones pretty quickly when you do that. This is the garlic. The garlic, as you can see, is growing really well. I think these are scapes that are forming. Um, that's going the same thing going on back here with the onions as well. So I don't know if I should cut that. I think you can cut that and it's edible and you can eat it. But I have to get some more information. But they're doing really well. The potato quartet. 
it's going really well the red stuff that you see on it is cayenne pepper i read online that cayenne pepper can be an insect deterrent until i get something from the store i noticed that something was starting to eat on my leaves so hopefully that will help deter those pests so i just sprinkled it <laughs> on everybody here's some on the tomato plant as well now and it looks like ooh, I'm starting to get tomatoes also. Okay, this is the compost pile that needs to be turned from cutting the grass. I didn't throw a little bit of everything in here and it just needs to be turned and worked a little bit. So I'll get back to that. We have the other iris that's right next to the compost pile for some reason, but it's pretty sturdy and doing well as well. So I'm gonna leave it alone and let it do its thing. I bet y'all ain't seen this old school push mower with the blade, honey. Yes, we get out here doing it old school until we get a lawn mower back. Anyway, moving forward. This is the cucumber plant. It's finally started to flower, a little yellow flower right there. So we'll probably be getting cucumbers starting to grow soon. And there's my bell pepper plant. It's already flowered as well. And you can see I actually have bell pepper starting to grow. So that's promising also. And then this is the sunflowers. I have two that are viable. This one right here is doing so well, as you can see. Those are the cotyledon things or whatever, the first leaves. And then now we have true leaves forming. So this one's gonna be really tall, whatever this variety is. And that's another one that's late to the game, but finally started. So we'll wait and see what it does. These are the first original four that I planted, or five. And those are the only two that have sprouted. And then that was at like beginning of the month. And then I planted a uh, second row, kind of staggered in front of these. It's just been this week, so they haven't had time to form any new buds, but we'll see how they do. These are some canna lilies that I got from my parents' house. I kind of stole them. Well, you can't steal them if they know you're taking them, but I don't know if they're gonna survive because they're starting to wilt and they were so pretty around the edges, but these things are pretty resilient, so we'll see. Anyway, in short, that's what's been going on. I would stick around with you all and explain some more things, but I really got to run in a hurry this morning. But just wanted to let you see what's going on. There we have some flowers and some fruits. And things are awesome. I'll check in with you guys later. Have a good weekend. Bye now.